Hi, this is a quick video demonstration of the Lattice LVDS Tunneling Protocol Interface or LTPI solution, using Mach X03 FPGA device. LTPI interface is designed for tunneling various low-speed signals between the HPM and SCM. The LVDS interface provides higher bandwidth and better scalability than the SGPIO interface introduced in DCSCM 1.0. It allows for tunneling of not only GPIOS, but also low-speed serial interfaces such as SM Bus, I2C, and UART. It is also extensible with additional proprietary OEM interfaces and provides support for raw data tunneling between HPM CPLD and SCM CPLD. Let us now try to set up the hardware for the demonstration. Connect the mouse cable to the Raspberry Pi USB port attached to the LTPI board. This is then followed by connecting the keyboard. The mouse and keyboard will be used to navigate and control the LTPI demonstration. After this, Connect the USB connection between the Mach X03 evaluation board and the Raspberry Pi board. Then, attach the HDMI cable connection as well for the monitor. Lastly, connect the USB Type-C connector to the Raspberry Pi board. This will be used to power up the boards. Let us now connect the two LTPI boards through the DCSCI connector. One of the LTPI boards will ask as the HPM while the other one will be the SCM. Please note that the USB cable connection are just removed for simplification purposes only. Once completed, you can now turn on the boards to run the demonstration. Using the GPIO control application, users can generate a 4-bit counter, whether counter up or down, that will send through LTPI. Aggregated data is then received and can be monitored on the GPIO window. Simultaneously, the users can generate UART signals through the UART console which acts as a chat box. You will observe that both sides can send and receive UART simultaneously. I2C transactions can also be demonstrated using the I2C application. Here, the user can send I2C write transactions to change the I2C color box on the other side which acts as the I2C slave. I2C read transactions can also be done by clicking the I2C read button. This demonstration can be done simultaneously on both ends with GPIO and UART also active. Lastly, I2C Monitor is a feature that allows users to filter or limit the I2C transactions based on the registered addresses.
Lattice LTPI IP is compliant with DCSCM protocol specifications 2.0. It also supports multi-channel serial interfaces like GPIO, I2C, UART, and OEM, and data channel aggregation. It can also support up to 1000 megabits per second LVDS data rate for Mach X05 devices. Thank you for watching. Thank you.